Welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Cranes Varsity. Hello. Today we are going to talk about programming. It is absolutely for beginner. Hope this short video can create your interests of programming. Let's start with some basic stuff first we need to know the basic idea. What is an operating system? Then we need to use a program called terminal. Finally, we will demonstrate how to write a C Hello World program. What is Linux? Linux is same as Windows iOS Mac OS. You may be using it on PC, notebook, iPhone, etc. They are all operating systems. So, what is an operating system? Operating system is a software realize the communication between hardware and software without operating system. Whatever you type in the keyboard won't show up on the screen same as the mouse click beside. Operating system also allows you to execute programs such as, open a browser terminal. What is a terminal? Terminal is a program that interact between user and a shell. Shell is another program that take command from user and pass to operating system to execute. Terminal and shell are widely used together in Linux. Now let's demonstrate how to write a C program on the Ubuntu platform. So, in order to create any file on your Ubuntu operating system, you give the touch command. But before that we are going to create directory in which we want to create our C program. So you can just enter in the name of your folder in which you want to create your C program. I'm going to name my folder as work folder. For example and what it's going to do is it's going to create this work folder. This work folder is created, then you can go inside this work folder and then you create a C file with .c extension here. So, just write touch and then the name of your file. I'm going to name my file as, test.c. Ok, so test.c and then press enter. Once you have created your C file, when you give this ls command, you will be able to see the file name inside your work folder. Once the C file is created, you can open this C file using any editor of your choice. If you haven't installed any editor on your Ubuntu operating system, you can open the C file with the default editor, which is the gedit editor. So you can just write gedit here and then test.c, and then press enter, which is going to open this C file in this graphical editor. So, this editor comes pre-installed in your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't have any editor, just open it with your gedit application. And then I'm going to just add a very simple hello, world C program here. You can find this program anywhere on internet. So, I'm going to write the full program here. And then once you have your C program, just save it and then close this file. Once you have your program, in order to compile your C program, you can give this command GCC and then hyphen O, and then the name of your executable file. So, this is going to be the name of your executable file, which means the output of your compilation, right? Give the name of your C file. So my C file name which I have created is test.c And in this test.c I have my C program and I want to compile this So I have written gcc file name which I want to generate And this is the file which I want to compile Press enter And once you have given the enter command Once it's successful When you ls into your folder once again, you will see that a new file is created here. Which is an executable file. And you can run this file. And it will give you the output of your program. So you can just write in the name of your executable file, which is test, press enter and it prints hello world because in our C program, we were printing hello world. 
So, this is how you can compile and run your C program. Now, let's say your C program contains some error. So I'm going to just open my C file with gedit command. So, gedit test.c. And here, let's say I will remove the semicolon in every line of C. You need this semicolon at the end. But, if you don't provide this semicolon, that means your compiler will give you an error. So when you give this GCC command to compile your C program, when you press enter, you can see it gives us error because compilation has failed. And it says error expected semicolon before return here on this line. It also shows you where can the possible error come from? Right? So you need to fix that. So you can fix that once again by going to the program, adding this semicolon once again. And let's say this time I edit my program and add some more clamation mark. And then save and then close it, right? Let me clear the terminal once again. Sorry. That command was that command is clear? And then once again, when you give the GCC in the name of your file, and this time you will see the new output hello world. But, we have added these marks here. So it will also print that. So this is how you can add the support for GCC on your Ubuntu operating system. Hope we did well. Thank you.